Now let us finish the remaining questions. But right now, what is the scoreboard? 23 or 50 50? 3 or 75? Uh. Autoimmune gastritis, uh, that also, you, uh, that you need not include in 50 50, that is uh, topper's answer, untoppled way. Then, one controversy, 23 50 50, 3 or uh, uh, what you call? 1 to Lord Padmavati, other is to other 21 are for uh, Venkateshwara. Huh? 23 50 50. Uh, till now, 27 mistakes, Haitobi, we can comfortably sit in this room. Huh? No problem. Focal seizures. Focal seizures. What is your answer, doctor? In bacterial meningitis? Yes. Uh, what is your answer? Huh? Cerebral anoxia. Will cerebral anoxia will go only to one place and cause focal seizures? So, your point is right. There are two kinds of seizures which can occur in meningitis. Focal or generalized. Generalized seizures can be due to the anoxia induced by the ischemia caused by the vascular con vasoconstriction due to the inflammation of the meninges. Inflammation of the meninges leads to vascular vasoconstriction, doctor. That leads to hypoxia. But there is a generalized uh, anoxia and generalized seizures. So, if focal seizures are there, what is your answer? We should think on cortical venous thrombosis with hemorrhage is considered to be the answer which you need to basically remember. Now, uh, whatever online students, a good number of them, Pahima, Tara, they proposed A, but Swati thought like you see. So, this is going to be a 50-50 kind only. You can add it because uh, this does not need uh, general medicine knowledge actually. Ah, this is another 50-50 madam. Please include this. Pakha luck based question. Patterns of pathology on a biopsy of the small bubble. DM gastroenterology entrance question this is. MD wala nahi hai. Out of syllabus. What is your answer? But still you might have answered no. Huh? I think 30 questions of MD hone tak uh, you lost that uh, you reasoned, reasoned, reasoned so much that your brain was uh, seeing everything in a paranoid way. Huh? Yeah, what is your answer? Amyloidosis is a good guess. Then, what else? Huh? Ripples. Ripples is another guess. Okay. Then, what else? What else you want to propose? Ripples, amyloidosis. Any other answer? Huh? Okay, question number 118, we are getting Pratisha, Lata, Pranita are all saying uh, Whipples. Correct answer is also Whipples. Why? Because biopsy can be of what? How many patterns? Biopsy is diagnostic, that means specific, but diffuse. Focal specific, focal non-specific, diffuse specific, diffuse non-specific, four varieties. Huh? I do not think any human being might have precisely answered this. Uh, is it any old question? You, you answered out of uh, uh, last Janmas reincarnation. You know that ripple is diffuse, eh? Oh, paper is out, doctor. Catch this guy. Huh? So, biopsy may or may not be specific and patchy. What are the conditions? Then biopsy may be abnormal and diffuse, but not diagnostic, non-specific diffuse. What are the causes? It can be specific and patchy. 
uh, sorry, non-specific end patchy. What do they call this? I leave that to you to review. Okay. Now, uh, this is a tough question, doctor. Put 50-50 status to this. Which will decrease the lipoprotein A levels to Kali decrease uh, examiner is not happy. Up to 40% decrease. If you don't uh, answer correctly, we will shoot you. What is your answer? Huh? Question number 119. You said fibric acid derivative. Ah, HMG coa reductase inhibitor, you are out of the pitch, doctor. Hypolipidemic drugs will feel sad about it. Give me some fighting. Two answers are fighting. Those who answered A and D are totally lucky people. God's, uh, what is that called as? Uh, God's most beloved. They are. So, what is your correct answer between B and C? How many vote for B? One, two, three. How many said C? Uh, good, good. So, Pranit, Fahima, Swati, propose C. Which is the correct answer? Why? Because Neomycin can reduce the LPA by 24% after 3 months of treatment. Okay, doc. And uh, Fibric Acid Derivatives after 3 months of treatment uh, how much is percentage? I am not able to see in this. 27 percent. A kitna hai? Somewhere nicotinic acid, niacin alone is effective in lowering 24 to 67 percent nicotinic acid. A kitna hai? Uh, fibric acid derivatives is 27 percent. How much was asked? 40 percent, na? So, answer becomes nicotinic acid. Dirtiest question. Who will remember, doctor? 40% count hai, 60% count hai. You will give one tablet, patient will take it, and if the next lipid profile is abnormal, you will add another hypolipidemic drug. Simple thing we do in clinical practice. Isli A, what they should put is, at the age of 40, one more MD entrance for all the people who finished MD. We will have more business. So that uh, they in their 40s will have bigger struggle. Oh, pura practice chodke, aake, padke, jana. So then our tablets will sell better. So one of our marketing guy was telling. So why not two eligibility tests? Huh? So, no doctor, very, very unreasonable. So, 50% doctor, 50 bhi nahi hai, isko 25 dal do. Huh? Very few people will answer it correctly. Now, bronchiectasis of COPD, standard question. What is your answer? Alcoholics, immunocompromised, diabetic people, those who have bronchiectasis typically will have pneumonia caused by. Huh? That's what I am asking you. Any other answer you thought? Pneumococcus is post-influenza pneumonia. No, sir. COPD with bronchiectasis. Classical is pseudomonas. Hmm? So, let me check. 120. Same fight will be there. B and C, B and C, B and C. B and C. How come C? C is not in the game at all. If it is B and D, I can agree. Huh? Now, Squamous cell carcinoma, what is the life threatening? No challenge, hypercalcemia. Everybody will answer this. Diarrhea in the chronic care institutions. 50 50 status there, madam. Commonly pure guesswork, which will definitely go wrong. What is your answer? E, enteropathogenic E. coli. Ah, any other answer? Clostridium difficile. Clostridium difficile. This is called as crossing the fox's tail. Uh, 
నక్క తొక్క తొక్కి రావటము ఇట్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ఇన్ లక్కీ డాక్టర్ బి హ్యాపీ దట్ వే ఫ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ అన్ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్లీ విల్ టర్న్ రైట్ క్వశ్చన్ డిఫైల్ మెనీ పీపుల్ ఆన్సర్డ్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఎంటర్పాథజనిక్ ఈక్వలై రైట్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ ట్వంటీ టూ క్లాస్ట్రీడియం డిఫిసైల్ టిపికల్లీ ఇన్ ఇండివిజువల్స్ హూ హ్యావ్ అండర్ గాన్ ప్రలాంగ్డ్ యూస్ ఆఫ్ యాంటీబయోటిక్స్ ఆర్ హూ హ్యావ్ వీకెండ్ సిస్టమ్ అండ్ ది ఎల్డర్లీ హూ ఆర్ రిక్వైరింగ్ లాంగ్ హాస్పిటల్ ఆర్ నర్సింగ్ హోమ్ స్టే ఆర్ ద వన్స్ హూ ఆర్ ఎట్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ రిస్క్ ఆఫ్ డెవలపింగ్ క్లాస్టీడియం డిఫిసైల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఈజీ క్వశ్చన్ ఎవ్రీబడి విల్ కరెక్ట్లీ ఆన్సర్ Which is central bronchial tenses? ABPA. No second thought. Then uh, interferon therapy may, which is a irreversible one, which is a reversible one. I'm not sure about myself. What is the correct answer? Because I know there will be uh, that uh, flushing fever influenza like episodes practically you will see while managing a patient on interferon who has a hepatitis c infection pegylated interferon but a deco which is reversible irreversible common sense is alopecia is not reversible obviously ha huh. but if you think uh, tingling is neuropathy neuropathy means generally not reversible diarrhea to nobody will have lifelong diarrhea because of whatever be the reason so b is totally out autoimmune thyroiditis there are two different literatures i leave it to you uh, you can review them those who have positive tgabs and tpo abs who are on interferon therapy permanent hypothyroidism is more likely more likely in spite of withdrawal of the interferon so that makes uh, autoimmune thyroiditis irreversible according to that source but i am not very sure so i myself is 50 50 about this but uh, you can put this as 50 50 huh? you can include it in 50 nobody will answer it uh, precisely huh? 100% wala soap nahi hai ha what is your Huh? I'm not sure alopecia is reversible or not. Uh, we'll check that. We'll check that. Huh? Now, uh, pernicious anemia. I thought, what is this? Juvenile pernicious anemia. Juvenile pernicious anemia is the name for actually pernicious anemia. Pura naam bolne ka laziness hai, isle pernicious bol rahe. So, what is your answer? 125. 125 we are getting an answer from swati as if antibodies antibodies are against the parietal cell not against the intrinsic factor which is in fact the facts 